from Chination.com. This is Mark Josie. Today will be another back to old school air gun shooting again. So haven't shot my air guns for a long, long time. Now taking it back out over one year. I'm not playing with them. Let's see how they do. This is the guy today. This is a KWC brand uh, Mini UC and is actually um, I think this continued right now or maybe replaced by the Umrex model. Um, from what I've seen online, the Umrex model has a different magazine. Uh, not sure if it's really the same gun inside, but this is the uh, KWC model magazine and it looks better. Not sure if you guys can still f find this right now on the market, but it actually looks better than the Umrex one. The Umarex one is showing a bit of the CO2 from what I can see. Or maybe the, the top here is like right right here. It's a stick uh, looking thing. And only this part, the bottom part is the, is the full size. And they actually stored the CO2 in the grip, which I think is a super bad idea. Um, the reason is <laughs> with, the, with the CO2 in the grip, um, there's a big problem with CO2 cooling down and freezing up so fast with these guns because the blowback is very strong or supposed to be very strong so um, it's going to use up the CO2 fast so if you only have like spare mag that holds the BBs okay when you're done shooting one magazine this CO2 is not usable already like the next mag you're going to shove in it's going to be super weak and uh, the FPS is going to drop right down. So it's no good. Now with this type of magazine, okay, you can at least push in a new mag and the new mag holds a new CO2 and your gun will fire as new. So you can keep putting mags in the gun and keep having fun with that uh, gun. It's, it's crazy cool. So if, um, like if you're the manufacturer and you're, you're trying to manufacture this gun you want people to buy your parts your spare mags then you need to promote something like that right so every mag hold one co2 and then people may have like some crazy people like me who will want to have like uh 20 mags or stuff stuff like that and then you know all just keep shoving and then next mag and then like that you know just keep shoving and keep shooting keep Firing stuff. That's the fun side of these guns. Why does Umarex have this idea of putting CO2 right here to limit your usage of CO2 and magazine? That's not profitable. <laughs> In my opinion, like if you want to earn money off the shooters, you need them to buy CO2, you need them to buy PBs, and also buy spare mags. So I have no idea why the new UC is like that. If you have the new model, just tell me if you like that or really hate that or whatever. Okay. Anyway, so this thing is very heavy. Um, the gun has a plastic, plastic uh, grip section, and the other parts are pretty metal. So the, yeah, everything here is metal. The barrel, the the upper receiver, and all that, and also the wire stock here is metal. It's tough. The gun is tough. It's uh, it's a beater. It's a nice gun. So when you rack the slide, you can see the door open. Oh. You need lighting. Through night TN32. Haha. <laughs> my camera lighting. With head and shoulder shampoo as my diffuser. Ha. Ah, okay. Anyway. Ah, oh, there you go. Nice lighting, right? <laughs> so you can see the, the hole right here. See? Right inside there. Wow. And because of that huge block inside going back and forth, back and forth at, with the blowback, this gun is extremely hard kicking. Uh, this is one of the hardest kicking gas blowback rifle or carbine you can find, or pistol if you call this a pistol, but it's like super hard kicking. My experience with this thing is when I put my face there for a while, after shooting two or three max, it hurts. <laughs> it's so hard kicking. Um, but there's one thing I really don't like about the gun, which is why I did not shoot it a lot. It's because the gun is hard to aim. Um, personally, I have very bad eyesight. Uh, it's born that way, okay? Can't do anything about it. So um, this little peak hole with the post sight right here, it's very hard to aim. It's super hard to aim. Like 
Oh man, it's so small. So what I did, I took a um, little drill, a Dremel thing, and then I drill this hole a little bit larger so I can actually see through it. Wow, when it's like, when I first got the gun, it feels like I'm holding onto my target rifle, like my my uh, air arm, <laughs> my Athlon rifle. It's like, whoa, peak hole. How can people use that for war, man? Like they they must have some crazy ego vision or something. It's hard to see, and um, I think that the 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 air gun uh, manufacturer should actually, um, you know, come up with some. Uh, mount right here. I see the real Mini UC. They have a mount right here that you can put a red dot on, but somehow they don't have this for airsoft uh, or air gun version. So, too bad. Now, this gun is modified to shoot full auto and it's very easy to do. So, now you can really pluck this thing over right here. Okay, so you're gonna shoot full auto with this too. Very nice gun. Okay. The mod is very easy to do. You just open up the gun and sand or file off a block of thing right there. So now, um, after talking about it, let's get some shooting done and see how the gun does after about one year of not touching it. So basically, this is the thing. And today we'll be using, where's my CO2? CO2. Umrex CO2. Okay, so let's see how it does. Umrex CO2 plus Pelgan oil. Always don't forget to drop a pelgan oil. It's quite healthy to do. Okay, just a minute. Let me grab my Allen key. There we go. So, typical magazine. By the way, if you are very much a fan of spraying uh, your shots with this gun, like a gangsta, you will want to get HPA upgraded. Like to use the high pressure air tanks with this gun. Um, yeah, it's a great upgrade. I did it myself and I actually do really love that upgrade. It's one of the best upgrades for this gun you can get and it saves you money from buying CO2. Okay, it's not leaking. Feel the coldness already? Good. Okay, it's cold right here. So CO2 went in. Good. Okay. So, um, before we plug BBs in, this is the kit you should get if you want to upgrade the gun for HPA. This is called the ANT system. ANT. You can find this on a lot of sites. Um, I got this from where? Where did I get it from? Oh, Yvick, Yvick or Yvick .com. They They sell airsoft guns. Um, this thing is... forgot how much, but it's... It's for uh, converting any, almost any um, air guns or airsoft guns with this kind of magazine to um, HPA. So what it does is it comes with a seal right here. Now this seal is rubber. You can put some silicone grease right here to grease it up for better uh, performance. If not, it will dry up over time and won't seal as well. So basically, this replaces CO2. There's a hole right there. So just shove into the normal CO2 position, and then you modify your little thing because your 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 CO2 cap, whatever, has a hole at the bottom, right? So you put this thing through the hole, and basically, this is a nut or bolt with a with a hollow centered. So you push this in like so, you screw the whole thing back in and it will go like that of your magazine, okay? So what you do is like this, okay? It's inside here and you just plug your tank, the hose and tank right here. So basically you can shoot from high pressure air tank like these, okay? This is a small one. I actually have my compression, com Compressor for the uh, tank, the high pressure compressor. So I don't care about air. I can keep using it and just pump it back up. So these are very nice, and I actually have one for dusting. See, duster. So it's super convenient with uh, these things. Much better than CO2. And also, not to forget, is that the FPS, the power, okay, consistency. It's much better with. HPA compared to CO2. CO2, when it gets cold, it's not going to fire as hard anymore. So after the first magazine, it's going to really die out. 
Okay, so now let's plug in some bullets today. I mean the BBs. This is uh, Daisy BBs, and we'll be using these 5.1 grains. Okay, let's load it up and check out the target. Okay guys, we're going to stand back at the 25 feet trying to fire this gun. Let's see how it does. Now trying the grouping house uh, on semi-automatic. Wow, this thing really hurt my face. Holy! Look at that grouping! Look at that! <laughs> I was using my left hand to pull the trigger, and I'm not left handed. Um, the problem is, I cannot see the sight with uh, the other normal grip, so using my left hand as my trigger finger. Look at that! Crazy, eh? Okay guys, so after shooting one CO2 with this gun, wow, it's very amazing <laughs> with the grouping, look at that. I haven't shot this gun for a long time, and it just drilled into the same hole with BBs, holy, whew. And I was uh, holding the gun like this, with my left hand holding the trigger, with my hand like that securing, and then I just go shoot. And guess what, the face really hurts. <laughs> no joke man this thing is super hard kicking um yeah the the what i think that i should do is to get a little thing to wrap around this so when i am uh, shooting it won't hurt my face so much <laughs> so basically um that's it for this gun and let's uh take the seal who out only two makes of shot though, the fun doesn't last very long. And that is why I think this HPA thing will really work. But I think one more thing to do is to have uh, BBs non-stop feeding into the magazine from the bottom. That would be nice. Anyway, wow, the CO2 is totally done. Oh, super nice hole, look at that. See how big that hole is? It's totally nicely pierced. So the pin for the piercing is still very good. Uh, yeah, it's a great gun. <laughs> Lots of fun. Um, I think that if uh, money is not the issue, I won't, I won't stop right here. <laughs> we'll just keep plugging CO2 in and keep firing a lot of mags. But anyway, um, basically that's it. And uh, the gun is super cool, super nice. Uh, still very like, like this gun very much. It's uh, one of the best hard kicking air gun on the market so far. If you can still find a KWC um, Mini UC, buy one. You will love that kick. When you put your face against it, it just feels awesome. Okay, this is really fun. Okay, guys, remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.